Hi and welcome to another video with Lempies. We are talking about hair today, how to grow your 4C, how to take care of your 4C hair, how to maintain growth and how to prevent breakage. And what is my protective style? I think you're seeing me all the time. So this is how my hair is today. This is like my go-to protective style all the time. And I'm going to start by just a short length check. So there's now my two strand twist. It's a busy two strand twist, really nice and simple. You know, for a very long time, I didn't know how to do two strand twists. They were always just undoing themselves or they were messy in a way that afterward when I want to take them out and wash my hair, there was a lot of knots. Like I just didn't know how to do it. But it's super easy. Just, I'll show you in a minute how I do this. So I would say I cut my hair, how long ago was that? 2018, yes in probably October or November 2018 and now we are in early 2021 oh it's been a while was it 2018 when I got my hair I'm feeling young when I got married so this is the length at the moment so look at that and this is still in twists so I think if I remove the twist and I try to separate this and show you like a straight hair strand that will be a little bit longer than this but this it's fine this is what it is at the moment as a two strand twist and this is really good i'm happy with the growth i think i'm fine and satisfied with the way the length that i have at the moment i wouldn't want to have grow my hair even longer than this i know they can but i will probably try to be cutting a little bit more often because i find that the longer the hair grows, it becomes a little bit more difficult for me to style and manage and wash and dry. That becomes a lot of work. So, tips for growth. I think I've uh, shared that already in the previous video. I mainly stick to wash as often as possible, between two weeks to four weeks. Uh, I do wash my hair, I would say, once a month which is every four weeks like that's now without any like removing all the all the twist and really wash my hair carefully and then in between every second or third week i will just wash them like uh, in their twist if i have twist like if i have two strand twists i'll just wash them like that or if i have uh, three strand twists i'll just wash them like that uh and the protective style probably works i don't know how to do most of the stuff so i only know how to do two strand twists and three strand twists i don't even know how to do corn rolls on my own head like i don't know i can do that on like somebody's head but i don't know how to do it on my own head what else the oils that i use i've also shared that my go-to oil at the moment is argan oil and that was introduced to me by somebody on this channel thank you that thing works very well for moisturizing and maintaining also moisture and now better than shea butter because I think shea butter is good for moisturizing. My only issue or maybe I don't have access to the most refined and the best quality shea butter, it, sometimes most of the time it leaves traces of like white traces so you will like, for example, I'll wash my hair today, apply shea butter, and then the next day I see oh, just like dust on my hair, like this white spots. It's more, more like the, it's more like you have scent on your hair, and this is why I do not like shea butter anymore. I stick more to argan oil, then I only use really shea butter in moderate quantity. I don't use a lot of it as... I used to do before. Now I think on daily basis, then just argan oil or castor oil is also very good. Let's talk about um, how do I get my twist this smooth and soft. 
Um, the easiest way to get really this kind of smooth, nice twist and like if you get your twist like this, two strand twist like this or three strand twist like this, your twist out is also going to be amazing. And the best way to get this is do a wash and then use a straightening method. Um, depends. For this one I use my flat iron. I will show you in the video up here. That works really well and I do that on my own at home. Otherwise, when I do not want to use a flat iron because I cannot use a flat iron every single month, I have also, what is it called, threading, where you just make, uh, like put your hair in a small section and then just fill it with the thread, tie them, tie them, tie them, almost like a salami thing, and then let them dry like that. And then afterward, you just remove the thread, maybe overnight. Remove the threads and then just comb them and make sure that they are. They won't be like a very straight, but at least they're just in a manageable position. Then you can put them in twists. In that case, your twists are a little bit more smoother than if you just wash and put your hair in twists. That was my mistake back in the day. I'll just wash. Hmm. Put a towel on until they dry then put them in twist it was a mess and then that's also why i ended up cutting my hair because at some point it was not manageable anymore i'll take out one of these so i can show you how i do my my twists so for a twist a two stand twist is really easy and i love it actually because i'm doing it super easy then you just have your hair in two sections like that start at the base boom, and then it's so easy back in the days i thought oh my goodness you need to really twist your hair a lot but no it's super easy you just it's just like you know you pull like this and just cross one over the other over the other and boom and then you have your two strand twist is a piece now if you want your two strand twist and also your twist out to look better and more refined trust me you need to trim your hair as often as possible and then you also need to make sure that the hair is well moisturized back in the day Whenever I was trying to do a two strand twist, they would just undo themselves because the ends were either, I felt like the ends were always like at the same, I don't know, they, they would never just stick together. And I heard since then from a friend of mine who said, it's not about how you trim your hair, it's more about how you moisturize your hair. When the ends are really dry, and also they are not detangled they're like just you know like thick clumpy they will not hold together you can really do it good twist all the way up to the end but then you cannot seal the twist so it holds and it lasts otherwise without sealing the twist if the hands are not attaching and holding by the time you are on the next piece, the first one is already undoing itself. I used to have that problem, but normal. Moisturize and just really make sure that your hair is combed. Like you have to make sure that detangling. You have to make sure that your hair is not matted and is well detangled. For other extra stuff apart from trimming, of course, for combing, I only use this. My go-to every single, let me put it this way, maybe every single time i do not try to use any fine comb because i feel like my hair texture is just too thick and the fine comb is a mess it's painful this is good enough to make sure that i prepare my hair for twist and when they're in twist i keep them like that i just brush on the side apart from that i think that's pretty much all you need but i would say for me growth really comes in washing because you just need to make sure that your hair is water is life to you and also to your hair well moisturized all the time and moisturized it means the more 
you wash, the more you add moisture to your hair. If you're not washing, then also do a lot of this uh, spray, like maybe three times a week. You just add it pretty much almost, I would say once a day, you wake up. Before I start my day, when I'm just washing my face, spray and then add uh, sealing that moisture with uh, argan oil or olive oil, depending on what, what oil you're using, and that also helps. Deep condition, yeah, if you have energy, I think it's good if you're really not a lazy person, but I'm, I'm, I'm not a deep condition person. I have to be honest, I deep condition my hair at the moment once every six months. Because deep condition takes time and you have to wait for so long, but I understand it usually the deep conditioners are more enriched with proteins and uh, they strengthen also the hair. If you're using heat, like I use a hair straightener, I would say you have to make sure that you're not using it quite often. I use mine at the moment once every third month. Um, yeah. I don't think you can use it once every month, otherwise it's going to be detrimental to your hair growth.